Hi, and welcome to another episode of Fly or Die. I'm Jordan Crook. And I'm John Schieber. And today we are looking at Tinder Moments. They're Tinder, they're tender, they're a moment. They're a moment, they're I fleeting. Love them okay, they so fleeting. let's talk about it a little bit. It's essentially okay. a turning Tinder or your matches into a kind of Instagram network, right? You can like blast out photos, right. put filters on them, draw right. on them. In terms of like how it actually works, right? Like the functionality of it yeah. and how it looks and feels, it's great. I yeah. think it's it's really solid, solid product. Um, the I, question though is the point. Right, right? Like will what people does it do, do it? Do? Right. Um, and I mean, I was on Tinder for a while. I'm not anymore, I'm full disclosure. <laughs> um, but when I was, I noticed the moments, and I, I found it to be, I, I mean, in a sense, it was, it was useful because it surfaced people who you had matched with that you might have either forgotten about or not messaged or something. Right. And it also gives you a, a sort of end to a new topic of conversation or a new conversation should you want to. Um, also, if I remember correctly, when you like the moments on, on a, a Tinder moment, that, that sort of populates to, to the person who's, who's image you liked right so they, they see know it. that you've liked their their moment and that then y'all can start chatting again right um but it seems like it seems like a little bit of an an odd sort of thing to have a social component to the tinder network well like i think there's two things to it the one is that so you think about posting an Instagram, you think about the fact that your followers are going to see it, what's right. going to look good and what isn't. And then you add this layer of like, well, these people also may sleep with you if right. you play your cards right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's up the ante a little bit. Right. So like your, your ability to post freely, right, in this world where we're all moving to Snapchat, right. like moving to this ability to like shoot something, send it off and not worry about it anymore. And that's becoming more freeing with Whisper and Secret uh, to have an extra layer of pressure, I guess. Right. I, I'm very curious to see how the usage is. At the same time, I do think it's really helpful. Tinder is a hard place to break the ice, I yeah. think, in a lot of ways. You get a lot of matches, and your match-to-message ratio can sometimes be a little frustrating, I right. guess. Um, and so I think that that you know, is really helpful. If I was in the early stages of talking to someone romantically, if the same things that I would send in a blast to all my right. friends would necessarily right. kind of fit into well, that you know, situation. You, you, you get a sense of whether someone's a cat person or like what right. they're doing with their day. And, and the, the photos tend to be not very curated from what I've seen. Like the, no. the moments that people are capturing are pretty banal. Yeah, um, and not really necessarily boring. things that I, I necessarily want to be liking or unliking or really know about someone who would be a prospective um, right. partner. I guess it's also like a new, like it's a, even though it's a similar kind of um, practice that we're going through with the taking a picture and filtering yeah. it and sending it out, I do think that there's probably a learning curve in terms of creation on this thing. What, what makes a good Tinder moment? Like right. what is sexy without being too sexy, right. right? Or like what is like something that's interesting to know about you that isn't totally right. boring? Like a cup of coffee you know, is pretty boring unless maybe every single day you get a beautiful cup of coffee right. and that's something that you share with your matches every right. day. Then that tells me something. You know what I right, mean? Right, so right. I think l that learning curve is something we're going to have to kind of see play out and right. that's if Tinder Moments is even being used well and we'll see how the company markets it right. and stuff have like they, that. Have they talked about usage at all? Or? No, and they probably will not. It's right. going to be something we're going to have to figure Suss out, I'm out. sure. Yeah. I'm hesitant to give it either a fly or a die at this right. point because I think it's almost too early to tell where it's going. So um, maybe a wing? Do we give it like a flutter? Can <laughs> two, we do that? Two wings? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a fly, just because I think that it's the right direction, mm. at least for Tinder. Like Tinder's a game. This adds a little bit of that instant gratification to the messaging part of the, mm. the app, which is so fun with the swipes. It yeah. kind of brings everything full circle, at least tries to, right? So right. I like the thinking that way. Right. So I'm going to give it a fly for that sake, encouragement okay. sake. I am going to actually give it a flutter, which might be a first on fly or die. I am going to withhold judgment until I see someone actually use it in what I think is a more Tinder appropriate way than it's been used. Basically, take more interesting pictures. And with that, I'm John Schieber. I'm Jordan Crook, and that's it for fly or die. See you next week.